how to solve a proportion of the form the quantity x plus a over b equals c over d. If you don't know how to solve for the value of x in a proportion like this, then review this video by clicking on the red button. The distributive property will be used in this, so if you don't know how to use the distributive property, review the following video by clicking on this red button. Let's look at a problem. Here it says to solve for w. So in 3 fourths equals w minus 5 over 8. So what I'm going to first do is multiply my 3 with the 8. And then I'm going to multiply 4 times this expression up here. Since I'm multiplying 4 with two terms, I have to make sure I represent that inside of parentheses because I have to apply the distributive property. So 3 times 8 is 24 equals, and if I use the distributive property, I get 4w minus 20. And now I'm going to solve for w. So I have to use inverse operations to isolate this variable. So I'm going to get rid of negative 20 by adding 20 to both sides. And then I get 4w equals 44. And then my last step is to divide both sides by 4. And I get w equals 11. So how do I know this is the correct answer? Well, what I would do is substitute it into my original equation. So I have 3 over 4 equals, and in place of w, I'm going to switch it out with what I got for an answer, 11 minus 5 over 8. And I get 3 over 4 equals 11 minus 5 is 6 over 8. And if I check my work, 3 times 8 equals 4 times 6. So I get 24 equals 24. It checks out, therefore I know w equals 11 is the correct solution to this proportion. Let's look at another problem. Here it says to solve for x. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply x plus 8 times 7. Since I have to multiply two terms here times 7, I'm going to put this in parentheses so I know I have to apply the distributive property. And that's going to equal 21 times 4. And now I'm going to use the right hand distributive property so I get x times 7 plus 8 times 7 equals 21 times 4 which is 84. And then since I don't see a coefficient, a number in front of the x, I know there's only one x here. So I can put the 1 there to remind myself of that. And I get 7 times 1 is 7x plus 56 equals 84. Now if I solve for the variable x using inverse operations, I subtract 56 to both sides. And I get 7x equals 84 minus 56, which comes out to be 28. And then the last step, I divide both sides by 7, and we get x equals 4. So how do I know this is the correct solution? I just substitute the value 4 in place of my variable x. So I would get 4 plus 8 over 21 equals 4 over 7. And then if I simplify my numerator here, 4 plus 8 is 12 over 21 equals 4 over 7. And if I check my work by multiplying 12 times 7 and 21 times 4, I can see 7 times 12 is 84, and 21 times 4 is also 84. Since that checks out to be true, then I know x equal to 4 is the correct solution to this proportion. If you liked the video, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.